What's up everyone, Sultry Seagull here. I decided to redo my A10C cold start tutorial because my mic was pretty crappy and I think I've improved on it drastically. So we're going to go through the entire cold start procedure and then we're going to work on a takeoff and landing practice in the A10C. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to start on the right panel here. First things first, we'd switch on our battery power, switch the inverter to standby. We can turn on our emergency floodlight here if we need a little bit of light in the cockpit. Then we're going to shift over to our left panel. And first we're going to lock our seat, ejection seat, arm it basically, and then turn on our APU switch which is kind of hidden behind this uh, eject lever here. So turn that up, you'll hear it whining and starting up. Turn on our four boost pumps up here and we can turn on our main radio here for now. Um, <coughs> can turn on that, in fact let's do all three now just so you see how it's done. We've got our bottom one here, VHF, we're going to turn that on to TR to, to switch it on, transmit and receive. Uh, we've already turned on our UHF here and then we've got our second VHF radio on top here. We switch to TR to turn it on. We're going to go across to our left panel. We're going to check our APU gauge here. You can see it's at 100% which means it's fully spooled up and ready to go. So we're going to turn on our APU generator power. Yeah. Then what we're going to do is we're going to switch on our CDU and EGI to start the alignment process and turn on our CICU, JTRS and IFFCC. That being done, we can turn on our left MFD, left click once on that to set it to the night, day position, left click once on the right MFD to set it to the day position and those will start starting up. We can also un unlock our uh, attitude indicator just scroll down twice on that thing until the red flag disappears from from the from the display turn on our anti-skid switch on our taxi lights to the down position it's a right click on that and what we can do now is go ahead and start our left engine so we're going to zoom in on the gauges here these three gauges indicate the left engine. So to start the left engine, default keybind is right, alt, and home. And you can see we start getting our oil pressure and RPM going up here. Our temperature will also start to rise shortly. There we go. So that means our left engine is spooling up. We'll let that continue. Let's do some more stuff here on the right panel. We're going to set up our we're going to switch on our oxygen first, that's the green switch over here, left click on that. And we're going to set up our lights, so we're going to switch our, our navigation lights, we're going to switch them to flash position, that's how I have on them on, you can have them on steady or off, it's up to you. recommend turning them on though, if you're, at least when you're around the airfield for visibility's sake. We're going to turn our formation lights all the way to bright and we're going to use control left control and p to turn the lights that's your master switch for your lights turn them on and then we can switch on our anti-collision lights which are the bright flashing lights on the wingtips tail and nose we can then turn on nose illumination turn our instrument lights all the way to full all these dials and that's all good we're going to go across now and have a look. Our left engine started up fully, so we're going to go in here and we're going to do the same for the right engine. So that would be right control and home. That's default key bindings. If you want to change them, you can go and do so in your keybind settings. So there you go. You can see pressure, RPM, temperature all going up. All good, we'll come back and check on that in a bit. Okay, let's set up our RWR and countermeasures. So we're going to switch all of these up. So it's our MWS, Jammer, RWR, 
and our display and then we're going to click on the power dial here we're going to switch it to manual mode which is my preferred mode so essentially what this does is it will manually release on your button press countermeasures you can do automatic release semi re auto release actually will choose a program for you depending on what it detects as the biggest threat and will then release that particular program when you press the countermeasures button manual will release whichever program you have selected on the button press i like to maintain control over that so i'm going to just show you the normal sort of program i run with it's a custom one so you right click once on the display setting to set your display up like this and then you can click so we'll start with the flares we'll switch there and you'll see it's blinking which means it's editable and we can use this rocker switch here to adjust we're going to go to four flares and we're going to go over to our chaff and we're going to set that to six to our interval we'll just uh, put it on the minimum and then cycle i just set it to one we don't need more than that we can just press the button multiple times if needed and return and that is set up and ready to go check our right engine is fully spooled up now so what we can do we go across to our power panel here we're going to switch on our left and right ac generators ignore the master warning we're going to turn off our apu generator power only do that after you've turned these on otherwise you shut down power to all your systems and you'll basically have to restart alignment etc again so that's good master caution switched off we're going to go across to our left panel and we're going to turn off our apu turn on our radar altimeter switch that up switch your autopilot to path mode i'll tell you why when we do our takeoff and landing and uh, we need to turn on our your sas's and pitch sas's we engage them all four of these switches to the up position okay that's done have a look here on our warning panel we only have our nav light blinking here uh, lit up here and we're going to fix that now we can see ins alignment is complete because ins nav ready is flashing on this display and we have the readout of t is equal to 4.0.0.8 so that's done and we are ready to switch to navigation mode we do that by clicking this button here and you'll see the little asterisk pop up left of the nav icon then we're going to go to our central panel here move the stick out of the way to the left we switch on our egi switch to egi mode click that there and lastly we're going to go across below our throttles and arm our eac and we are now ready to roll a couple more things to do before we taxi out okay we're going to load our data cartridge we're going to do that by hitting the load all button here and you see those asterisks disappear they will reappear once the data cartridge has been loaded up successfully so we'll let that go we're going to close our canopy in the meantime right click and hold on the switch here done and let's engage nose wheel steering uh, you'll have that to set that up in your key binds i've got it set on my joystick uh, we'll do that now and you'll see up here steering engage that'll light up and tell you that your nose wheel steering is good to go our data cartridge is all loaded up so we may now switch mode so i'm going to switch to tad on this and i'm going to keep my cdu open on this because yeah that's all i really need at this stage normally before a mission i would actually turn on my tgp and arm my laser while on the ramp just so that it's done and ready to go when i need it other thing you can do if you're carrying mavericks you switch to mav screen on your right mfd and the EO off here, we can switch that on and basically that's going to warm up our Maverick, Maverick so that they're ready to use when we need them. This may not be the proper way of doing things, I'm sure it's not, but it's the way I like to do it so I don't have to do it last minute in the air. Okay, so that's all done and we are ready to roll. Okay guys, thanks for watching. That was the cold start tutorial. Um, Next video in this series is going to be landing 
uh, takeoff and landing as well as also flying a pattern and communicating what you're doing over the radio while you're doing so. Thanks very much guys. Please leave some feedback in the comments below. Anything you specifically want to see uh, or hear about, any suggestions, corrections, etc. Throw them in the comments below. We're all learning together on this. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.